Hello everyone, this is Nick Harrison, and today we are going to be talking about uh, if you add the sum of all numbers, which is known as infinity, and we're going to be able to solve that based on the string theory. So if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on all the way to infinity, the answer that I'm going to be able to get is actually negative 1 twelfth once you add them all up. Here's the equation uh, in the string theory references. You're probably asking what does that even mean? And basically what that says is that the sum of all integers is equal to negative 1 twelfth. Now, if we add up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on, we're going to label that as the variable s, which basically just stands for sum. In order to solve this problem, we're going to have to break it down into two subscript equations. So we're going to have s1, which is just 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, and so on. And s2, which is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5, and so on. We're going to start with s1. Now, obviously, you can only have two answers when trying to solve this. If you stop on a 1, then the answer is going to be 1. Okay? If you stop on a negative 1, the answer is going to be 0. And so on and so on and so on. Now, in order to get a final answer on this, you have two integers to choose from. You have a 1 and a 0. So basically we just take the average of the two, which means we would add one plus zero is one and divide it by two integers and the answer is a half. So S1 is equal to a half. S2 is our other equation. One minus two plus three minus four plus five and so on. Basically we're gonna duplicate the equation and give us two S2 is one minus one plus two I'm sorry, 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and so on. We're going to write it again, but this time we're going to indent it one slot. So it's the same equation, just move to the right one place. So 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 and so on. When we add these together, 1 plus nothing is 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is negative 1. 3 minus 2 is 1, and so on for the rest. It's equal to a half once we get our answer. So as you can see, 2s2 is equal to 1 half. So 2s2 is equal to a half. We take 2 off of both sides, and we get s2 is equal to 1 fourth. So these are our two equations that we have solved for so far. S1 is equal to a half, and S2 is equal to one quarter. We're going to do S minus S2. So we take our first string of numbers minus our second string of numbers. We're going to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on minus a bracket 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 and so on. 1 minus 1 gives us nothing, so there's a no placeholder here. 2 minus a negative 2 is a positive 4. 3 minus 3 is nothing. 4 minus a negative 4 is 8. 5s give us nothing. 6s will give us 12, and so on. If we factor out a 4, okay, it's going to give us 4 and then the string of the numbers here. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and so on. If you remember correctly, this string of numbers inside the parentheses is equal to our original S equation. So basically, S minus S2 gives us 4S. On the right side of the screen, you see our two equations that we had previously found. And S minus S2 gives us 4S. That's the equation that we recently found. Let's substitute 1 quarter for S2. So S minus a quarter is 4S. We take an S away from both sides. So negative 1 fourth is 3S. 
divided by 3 on both sides to give us an S standing alone. Negative 1 twelfth is equal to S. Now S is the sum of the numbers all the way to infinity, which is what we started with, equals negative 1 twelfth. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way to infinity is equal to negative 1 twelfth. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly at nicholasrharrison.com. Please subscribe. Thank you.